Hello everyone, my name is Namrita Ganesh Chandrasekharaya and this is my submission for project to Batcher Banyan Network. What is a Batcher Banyan Network? The Batcher Banyan Network is a self-routing network which consists of a Batcher Sorter and a Batcher Routing Network. It is a routing algorithm used for routing packets from a set of input terminals to the set of output terminals without the need for centralized control. The batcher sorter is responsible for sorting the input, input packets in ascending order and Banyan network routes the incoming packet to the destination. Let's take a look at the 8x8 batcher Banyan network. So this is the 8x8 batcher Banyan network. In this, all the inputs are located on the left hand side and all the outputs are located on the uh, right hand side. Column A, column B, column 3 consist of switches. So A1, B1, C1 and A2, B2, C2 are all the routing switches. These are internally connected and the networks, what you see here is the banner network. Each uh, switch has two outputs, um, which is two routes basically. So route 0 and route 1. Route 0 is always at the top and route 1 is always at the bottom. Let's quickly take a look at an example to understand how batcher banner network works. So consider we are sending 2 through input terminal 5. So 5 is located here and we are sending 2. And 2 in binary is written as 0, 1, 0. 2 in binary is written as 0, 1, 0. Passing through the input terminal 5, 5 is 1, 0, 1 basically. So when we convert 2 into binary, the first digit is 0. And 0 is always located at the top. So 5 is connected to a 3 switch and following the root 0, which is the top root, we lead to B1. The second digit is 1 and in B, there are again two roots, uh, 0 is a top and 1 is a bottom and B1 connects to C1 and C2. Uh, considering 1, we follow the lower root and taking the lower root, we reach to C2. C2 has uh, two outputs. One is 0, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 1, which is 2 and 3. And since the last digit of 2 is 0, we take the upper root and our destination is 0, 1, 0. So this is how batcher Banyan network works. And this is 8 cross 8 batcher Banyan network. Um, similar concept we can also see in 16 cross 16 batcher Banyan network, which looks like this. The only difference between batcher Banyan network 8 cross 8 and 16 cross 16 is 8 cross 8 has input 0 to 7 and output 0 to 7 and 16 cross 16 has inputs and outputs of um, 16. So that's why it's called 16 cross 16. And it also has an additional column for D, which is um, D and this is how it looks like. Let's quickly take a look at the uh, program. So this is my program in C Sharp. The first four lines are basically libraries used for running this program. Um, this is the namespace I've created. Namespace is called Batcher Banyan and it is used for organizing all my classes. The first class is called program under which I have um, given my inputs and their links. I've used a hash map to uh, connect um, the input to their respective input terminals. So zero to seven, all these digits are our inputs and A1, A2, A3, A4 to A, A4. So these are all my um, input terminals. Um, in the next, we can see the connections between column A and column B. Again, I have used a hash map for this. And in the next, we see the connections between column B and C using hash map again. And in the next one, we can see um, the connections between C to their respective outputs. So C has two outputs, output zero, output one. Um, C3, C2, C3, C4 has their respective outputs as you can see here. So in the next, I've created a method called Banyan network. And I am using for loop to loop through each number of the input given. And convert.toString converts any um, digit to binary, uh, any number of base two to binary and I'm storing it in the variable or, and this consists of uh, three digits. So I'm manually giving the length um, to get three binary digits. And this is basically the logic I'm using for 
uh, routing the packets of uh, which route needs to be selected, whether it's route zero or route one. So this is a logic I have used. And this is how the output is getting displayed. So basically I'm writing input and then followed by the number and then the path and then the output uh, port. So that's how it is displayed. And in the last uh, method, I am uh, writing uh, the code for input basically. So console.read line, I am asking the user to enter the input between zero and seven. And I'm reading those input. And in the next one, I'm formatting it. And then I'm sorting it. And then I'm invoking the previous uh, Banyan network method to perform all the functions. So this is how my program looks like for 8 cross 8. Let's quickly run this. It says, please enter input comma separated between 0 and 7. So 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 7. I'm giving all the inputs. And this is how the output looks like. So input 0 um, has will come out through output port 0. Uh, input port uh, 1 comes out through the output port 1 and so on and so forth. So this is how the batch of banner network um, looks like for uh, 8 cross 8. I have done some modifications uh, from the 8 cross 8 program and have constructed for 16 cross 16 as well. The only difference here is um, I have just given additional eight um, input and I have also written the connections for uh, column uh, C to D and D to the respective outputs. Rest everything remains the same for uh, 16 cross 16. So this is my final presentation for Batcher Banyan Network Project 2. Thank you.